In my digital story, we will be looking at climate change and its future impacts on the city of Chicago. We will also be looking at Chicago's ability to be either resistant or resilient to climate change and its impacts. We will also look at how the city can become more sustainable by using and implementing stabilization wedges to reduce emissions and avoid the city's part on global climate impacts. Climate change is when the average weather patterns of a region is altered for an extended period of time. It changes wind patterns, average temperature and amount of precipitation. The change can be caused by natural processes like volcanic eruptions, variation in Earth's orbit or changes in sun's intensity or human activity by emitting greenhouse gases. Human activity has been the primary cause of current climate change by deforestation, industrial production and emitting carbon dioxide as well as other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases trap more heat in our atmosphere resulting in the global warming effect. Chicago's contribution to climate change is linked to two main sources of greenhouse gas emissions. 70% of the city's emissions are from buildings and energy produced to serve the building's needs. 21% from transport, specifically fossil fuels, to operate. Chicago is the third most populated city in the United States, with over 2.7 million residents. In 2007, a number of U.S. states joined the Kyoto Protocol to reduce emissions. Former Mayor Richard M. Daley began to transform Chicago into an environmentally friendly city through strong partnership between government, businesses and the public. The United States is ranked 11th on the ND Gain Country Index. The index summarizes the country's vulnerability to climate change and its ability to improve resilience. Vulnerability is the degree to which a country is unable to cope with climate change and its impacts. Resilience is the ability to properly adapt to climate change. A country's resilience is measured by considering three components, namely a country's economic ability, social ability such as education, innovation and ITC infrastructure, and lastly, governance, looking at components such as rule of law and corruption control. The United States has a low vulnerability to climate change and its impacts. However, climate change poses a great threat to food production, especially the production of cereal hills. Climate change can impact the country's water supply, result in species extinction, tropical diseases, more frequent and more intense weather extremities, sea level rises, food insecurity, just to mention a few impacts. The impact of climate change on Chicago is an unbearable increase in heat, making the city vulnerable to heat waves. The 1995 Chicago heat wave led to 739 heat-related deaths and lasted over a period of five days. The city is threatened to have its climate mimic that of Texas, experiencing days over 35 degrees more frequently, resulting in crop migration and an increase in heat-related deaths. To reduce the impacts of climate change on Chicago and its contribution to future emissions, we are going to be using stabilization wedges, a game and a concept to find solutions to the greenhouse gas problem. To emphasize the need for early action, the stabilization wedge concept aims to cut future emissions over the next 50 years by using four major categories, namely efficiency, conservation, renewables and biostorage, as well as nuclear energy. To reduce the city's contribution to climate change, as well as earn a stabilization wedge, the city has launched a number of initiatives like Chicago's Greenhouse Gas Reduction Goals. It aims to reduce emissions by 25% by 2020 and 80% by 2050, cutting the city's total emissions by 15.1 million metric tons. Cities produce 75% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the world. Chicago has set a goal to reduce its contribution to this figure by creating smaller dwellings, fewer automobiles and reducing energy usage per person. The city has also produced a bicycle program which has created more bike parking than any other city in the U.S., as well as 165 miles of bikeways. The city has also tried to reduce the amount of automobiles in the city with an extensive public transit system providing low-cost energy and an efficient alternative to solo driving. Fifteen years ago, former Mayor Richard Daly created the Chicago Climate Task Force, a multi-stakeholder group to produce the Chicago's Climate Action Plan. The Chicago Climate Action Plan reflects the works of leading scientists analyzing different scenarios for Chicago's future climate. 
and its impacts on life in the city. It also is informed by teams of researchers analyzing costs and benefits of ways to best reduce Chicago's emissions and how to prepare the city for climate change. In addition to existing projects, initiatives and emission reduction goals, Chicago can increase its number of stabilization wedges by switching over to biofuel. Biofuel is made from plants like sugarcane and corn to create fuels such as biodiesel, ethanol as well as green diesel. Biofuel simply returns carbon taken up from the plants back into the atmosphere, thus not emitting additional carbon dioxide. Using hybrid cars is an efficient way to reduce one of the city's main contributors to climate change, transport and burning fossil fuels. Hybrid cars draw electric power from overhead wires and gives its owner better mileage as well as less fossil fuel emissions. Chicago has large land areas covered by forests surrounding the city. This can act as carbon sinks to remove carbon from the atmosphere and reduce the city as well as other surrounding areas carbon concentration. Another stabilization wedge can be earned by making the city's buildings more energy efficient by using solar panels on roofs to heat water and provide heating. The use of wall and roof insulation, creating green roofs as well as designing buildings in a passive solar manner. The use of natural energy to displace coal-based electricity can also earn the city a wedge. Wind electricity is an effective and sustainable form of energy for the city to invest in as Chicago is nicknamed the city of winds. Individual changes such as lowering energy consumption, making homes more energy efficient, reducing transportation impacts and getting involved in the city's attempts to cut emissions will also earn the city a wedge. Chicago is one of the world's greenest and most livable cities from leading the way to green buildings, green roofs and policies to its numerous emission reduction initiatives and goals, as well as being the nation's laboratory for studying urban heat island reduction. With the city's understanding on climate change and its determination to reduce the impacts and effects of climate change, creating a sustainable Chicago is not too far out of reach.